Have you ever sat in front of a fresh piece of paper ready to create an absolute masterpiece, but as soon as that pencil lead hits the paper, nothing goes the way you were expecting it to go. So you end up throwing that piece away and you start over, trying to create a new piece, a new piece that will convey that amazing, incredible image, which you can see perfectly inside your mind, but yet again, it just does not seem to happen. So then you try again and you try again and every time you try you just wind yourself up as you go but you still try and force that incredible image into this reality but for all this effort and all this strain you just end up feeling like a complete failure and disheartened as if you should just give up if you ever hit this point as a creative it's time for you to just stop and take a breather this used to be such a big problem for me as I could always see what it was I wanted to create so perfectly in my mind's eye but could never translate it and bring it into the real world by translating it onto paper. And the more I seemed to try, the harder and harder it became. Being a creative person, you have an incredible ability of having a laser focused imagination. So I'm sure you have ease envisioning entire complete worlds in your mind's eyes but having such an incredible gift can come as a double-edged sword. When you know exactly how you want your drawing to go 100%, you have now created a massive weight, a weight of expectation for yourself to produce exactly what it is you have in your mind. And when you have just so much expectation, this is what creates a lot of anxiety and pressure. And this also applies for a lot of things completely unrelated to art. Let's say you have this person you have a crush on and you wanted to ask them out. The real challenge which presents itself here is that you do not actually know how the outcome will come. And if things don't go the way you expected them to go, you end up feeling hurt as deep down you want full control of the outcome. But unfortunately, life does not go that way and art works the same way. So that's cool and all. But what is the best way that you, as a creative person, can combat this? And the best way is to learn to just let go. And I mean completely let it go. Next time you go and create, it's okay to have a rough idea of what you would like to make, but promise yourself that the pencil hits the paper, your job is complete. And now it's time to let whatever may come, come. As a quick example, let's say that you wanted to draw something like we are drawing here in this video today. What you really want to do is just start off with a real rough idea. So pick a few words like here, let's say hip hop, man and music. As you slowly move forward with a very loose idea, let it create its own path. Not only will the outcome come from a place with more authenticity and flow, but you will be fully present with the process, as well as actually enjoying yourself and enjoying the spontaneity of seeing what design you are able to create beyond yourself. Now there's a famous quote from an artist that goes, when there is too much of self in one's art, it becomes stifled, as it is no longer coming from a place of authentic expression, rather it's coming from a place of ego. And a lot of this comes down to is how you were kind of brought up or raised or how you were viewed in the world. Because some people just like to be more in control than others and there are some people there who just like to let completely loose. So for some, this will come a lot more natural. But if it doesn't, here is a good exercise to even help you out when you find yourself maybe feeling too stiff and not loose enough. The best thing I would say is put down your white piece of paper in front of you and just do a few squiggly lines. Mess that paper up. Because the fact you have this plain canvas in front of you, your imagination can then project all these cool, crazy ideas. But sometimes you just want to cut that short, throw up some lines, ruin it, like put some shapes down, and your mind and your imagination will start engaging. The ego side of your mind will start to let loose a bit more and give you more of an expressive and creative flow. And then you're switching more to the creative frame, which is then when you can almost bring out more of an authentic side instead of being too much pressure and too much force, where it ends up creating something which you know is just not got those loose lines and that flow which a lot of artists really look for in the end. And all I can say is when you reach that flow state where it's almost just being through you, you've almost become possessed in a way. Like I'm not talking no demon talk, but in a way, God is now working through you. And I say God, I'm not religious, but I use that word just to explain the force that comes through and then gives you more of a stronger expression. And people notice it, and you as an artist can see it. When you see the work and you look at it and it draws you in, you know it wasn't from this realm and it comes from somewhere else. Now this may sound a bit spiritual, a bit far out there, but trust me, if you're an artist and you've been doing this for a long time, you will know when you reach these points. And there's even a quote by Osho, 
and he speaks about by doing something like art and you reach that flow state which has been proven by science too there's many books out there when you reach it it's meditation as a surplus so not only is it better than meditation you also get more of an energy in it which enables you then to create further as well as losing i'm sure you experience this too all perception of time but these are just a little few tips I've learned which really helped me to break free of being stuck in a position where I just felt my drawings were not improving and I just couldn't get what's in my mind on paper. The key is just to let go. So next time if you find yourself just feeling disappointed as if you just want to fully give up, just remember to let go and trust in the process. And who even knows, at the end of it all, you may even surprise yourself with what you come up with. But the key to it all, is just to keep on that road of creativity and keep your passions alive. I hope you're all managing to create as much as you can right now and are all in a positive place. Thank you for tuning into the video today and as much love, peace.